Hi there, welcome to the gym. It's Catherine at Three Ps. Thank you for joining me. Today we're continuing with our legs week and we're going to do a deadlift with an Olympic bar. Now, earlier in the week, I did a deadlift with some dumbbells, um, just as an introduction, but now we're going to use the king of the equipment for, for a deadlift, which is an Olympic bar. So I've got the equipment set up. Before we go to the equipment, just a couple of tips about using it. First of all, bear in mind that when you are lifting with an Olympic bar with plates on, you need to make sure you use clips so the plates are not flee, free, because one of the main issues around um, an accident with an Olympic bar is when plates fall off one side or the other. So make sure you use clips. That's really, really important. And the second is make sure that you are warmed up before you lift. And what I mean by that is you do some gentle lifting first, maybe on the Smith or with some dumbbells, just to warm up your, your um, hamstrings and your glutes. Um, I got, had a very um, a bad injury from deadlifting. It wasn't because I was warm, but it was quite, I was doing quite heavy and I ripped uh, one of my hamstrings. So this is one of those exercises where you can get injured, but the, the payoffs from doing the exercise are so fantastic in terms of how you feel and how your, your strength develops that it's, it really should be the core of any weightlifting or bodybuilding um, program that you're developing is to include some deadlifts as well as some squats and some lunges. So let's go over to the equipment and I'll show you the technique. So we have here, let me just bend down so you can see, we have here an Olympic bar. I put it at this, at this camera at this level because the important thing is to concentrate. So I'm going to concentrate on what's happening from my legs down. My chest is going to stay up as I lift, but I'm going to bend my knees. So what you do is you stand in front of the bar with your feet roughly hip distance apart. You're going to take this grip, okay? It's important, not that grip, but this grip. This is much more safe. Please stay out of the frame, you two guys. So I've got small children. Out of the frame, please. So. What you're going to do, sorry for me, this is Sunday morning for you, um, is you're, you're going to use this grip, okay? Not this grip and not that grip, this grip. And then you're going to lift with your arms relaxed but straight. And you're going to take most of the weight on your glutes and your lower back. I'll show you. So, here is my bar. I put my feet roughly shoulder distance apart. So, shoulder or hip distance apart. I'm going to bend down. I'm not going to do a full over bend because that will put pressure on your back. What I'm going to do is bend with my knees, keep my back nice and tall, and keep my chest up. So this movement, okay? Let me just show you. Let's pull this back. So you're going to bend with a nice tall back, and you're going to bend like this, and you're going to pick the bar up. When you pick the bar up, you're going to roll it over your knees and up over your thighs until you are straight. And then you're going to fully straighten and slightly lean back. So you're going to come down with the bar, over your knees, down your calves, put it back down on the ground. Pick it up. Roll it gently over your thighs, up to your hips, and you're going to slightly overextend as you straighten up. The point about that is you're keeping the bar close to your body so that you are not likely to overbalance and you're not putting over more, too much stress on your back. And it means that your, the weight is being taken by your glutes and your hamstrings, which is what you're trying to train in this exercise. So let me show you. Remember, I'm going to use this grip as I come down. So I'm going to lift and grab the bar about shoulder width apart. And I'm going to lift like this. One, two, three. Lift. And then I'm going to slightly overextend and I'm going to come down again. I'm going to bump. I'm going to lift again. Okay? And down. I'm going to bump and lift again. One more. Bump and lift again. Now, this exercise, <laughs> this exercise is absolutely fantastic for your glutes and your hamstrings, it will lift your bum. As a woman, particularly if you're say a runner, do a lot of cardio where you can lose a lot of fat around your rear, it will give you a perky bum rather than a flat bum. It will give you fantastic muscle tone as a man to top off your quads, which you're looking to develop as well. So it's really important in terms of your body and unity. Um, sorry for the kids in the background, it's what happens on a Sunday morning, you try and train, but there we are. Um, Please stay with us for the rest of shoulder of leg week. We are doing um, a couple of other technical exercises this week. And then following from next week, we'll be putting some of these together into routines, into double tri-sets and supersets and how you would train part, a body part per day. So keep watching. You can also please subscribe. It'd be a pleasure to have you. Just press the subscribe button below and give us a thumbs up or thumbs down, depending on what you think of the video. Um, and you can also reach us at our website, which is www.3pspublishing.com. If you add forward slash alcohol free drinks, there's a free book for you. Lots of people have downloaded that. It's all about what to drink when you're not drinking alcohol, which obviously if you're training seriously, is a good idea. Um, you can also reach us on Facebook. We're at facebook.com forward slash 3 media. So I look forward to seeing you soon. It's been a pleasure. 
Hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Bye.